Today topic is conservation of linear momentum. In this lesson, you should be able to state the principal conservation of linear momentum. Let's imagine object A and object B and we will look at the collision of these two objects. When they collide, object A will experience force A due to the action of object B. And likewise, because it's been hit by object A, it will experience the force to the other direction that we will call force P. Now, by Newton's third law, the size of force A on object B is the same as the size of force B on object A. What we can say that force A is equal to force B. We know that contact time between object A and B is the same with the contact time between object B and A. Thus, since they have the same collision time, delta T, force A times delta T is equal to force B times delta T. So what we have here is the impulse, which is impulse is equal to force times delta T. As impulse is the change of momentum, the change in momentum is equal to force times delta T. But because they have the same size of force and the same time of contact, that means delta PA is equal to delta PB. So far, we look at the magnitude that changed the momentum. But important thing to note is that because these two things have opposite velocity direction when they're moving, that means we're gonna have an opposite change in momentum. One is going to increase, one is going to decrease. We can say that delta PA is equal to negative delta PB. That means if we add these two momentum together, the total change of momentum is going to be zero, which means delta PA plus delta PB is equal to zero, provided that no external forces is acting. If we have two objects that collide, the net change in momentum is going to be equal to zero. So, the principle of conservation of linear momentum is the total linear momentum of a system remains constant in collisions or explosions provided that no external forces are applied. Or in terms of formula, we can conclude that the summation of P initial is equal to the summation of P final, which means M1 U1 plus M2 U2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 U2. Example to this is, have you ever questions on what happened to the bullet as fired from the gun, and how quickly the pistol recoil. Let's put some data to understand this. The mass of bullet is only 7.5 gram, and its velocity is 380 meter per second, while the pistol here has a mass of 0 0.43 kg. With this information here, we can calculate on how fast this pistol recoil when it's fired. As we know, 
The formula for the conservation of linear momentum is summation of P initial is equal to summation of P final. Since both pistols and bullet is stationary before fired, that's meant P initial for both is equal to zero. Insert of the deltas as below. Let's try this equation. Thank you.